Hey everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play Pikmin. I'm your host Pikmin Level 72 and we're gonna get started off here by heading into the second level, the Forest of Hope, to do its uh, challenge mode here in Pikmin. So obviously the music, just like in, in the Impact Site, is sped up. But what you may notice about the uh, Forest of Hope is that uh, it has more, uh, it has actual enemies to. Uh, Uh, bring back to create Pikmin with. Which means you don't have to spend time color matching Pikmin at all to uh, pellets. At least not as much time. Obviously there'll still be some pellets and so it'll obviously be better to match them with their res representative colors, but uh, it won't be as of much uh, as much importance. But like always you want to start off by uh, Collecting the pellets they conveniently place around your camp for the creation of a few more Pikmin. Starting with the one pellet and then moving on to the five pellets, once you have enough Pikmin, obviously. And the useful thing to note about the uh, Forge of Hope is that, unlike the uh, impact site, it is a much bigger area and it's also a much more open area. Like, in the effect site, there's one way you can go out towards where the, uh, engine was. But, in this area, there's, uh, pretty much two directions you can go, and from there you can go even more directions. Giving you much broader, uh, much more options on where to go. And I bring this up because, uh, the best way to do Stage like this is kind of think of it like a circle, and with the uh, the best uh, prizes are out on the extremities of the area, while uh, lesser Pikmin gaining things are near your camp. So you don't want to just stick around your camp. You actually want to branch out and uh, get those higher netting Pikmin uh, sources. So a good way to do that is to uh, just pick a direction in the stage and just go that way. Because chances are you'll find something that'll uh, get you a fair number of Pikmin. Be it some 10 pellets or 20 pellets or maybe even something that gets you more Pikmin than that. Hint, hint, hint. <laughs> Alright, so... Also, you notice that we got some bull bulbs. And we split them up evenly, but you don't have to. And a good thing about having enemies is that you can just kind of like swarm them with a group of Pikmin and have it go to wherever. Especially once you have your uh, a good group of 100, because then it doesn't really it increases efficiency, and you don't have to match the colors for the uh, pellets. You can just go. So very useful that is. And I'm talking like Yoda, saying senses out of order. Alright, now we're gonna get some nectar, and you guys weren't supposed to go eat that all by yourselves. You hogs. Alright, there we go. I always got most of them. Can we have another nectar, please? That's good enough. I know we're gonna still be left with a few leaves, but I can handle that. Alright. So moving on, we got also among the bull bulls, we got bull bears. Which obviously take off half their health when you hit their back instead of completely killing them. And that was actually the right color. I'm surprised. Alright, so, uh. Obviously, it's important to. Really just kind of be fast, but also kind of keep your Pikmin doing about equal amounts of things. Because you don't want uh, one Pikmin number to get too overpopulated. Especially at the beginning. You want, again, pretty equal number of Pikmin. Like 40, 30, 30 is pretty good. Because you, again, you're going to want a slight advantage in blue Pikmin for this area, but uh, doesn't have to be too great. Alright, now for our many Pikmin, although we could probably take out that, uh, 
ball ball, but we're actually going to have them work on this bridge. Because it's actually very important. Uh, and another thing to note, uh, the better, the best prizes are found behind uh, barriers of like bridges or walls, or especially stone walls, will get you uh, very good things behind them. So, building those bridges will obviously lead us to some very good uh, Pikmin gaining objects in. I can hear they're already done. Which is good. And I didn't mean to stop that, uh... 10. I'm sorry. Alright, so again, we're gonna pull out all these leaves. All spouts. And now we have to pull out all the blue spouts. And I hate waiting, wasting time. So, I guess we're just gonna quickly kill these guys. Usually I won't go this way, because I already picked the other way to go. Which is not a way that I usually go. But, uh... You know, whatever. I actually picked the other way to go in my practice file, so I don't have as much experience going with the way I actually chose to go. But, I wouldn't, didn't want to do the same thing over and over again. So, I thought I'd go, uh... Have a little more variety. And see what's... Over this way. Alright, come here, guys. Did they re okay, I was gonna say, did they really not make any more Hector? Alright, come here. Come on. Thank you. It seems we have a lot of blue Pikmin, which is ultimately pretty good. But before we do anything else, I wanna take out this, uh, Bull Bulb, because it might be a pain later. And, oh, come on, you're dead. Alright. So, now we're going to put uh, the blue's primary job to work. Namely, getting things out of the uh, water. And actually, everything in the water is for them, it looks like. So never mind that, we're actually going to have them building this bridge for the yellows to get their 20. So like I said, every I think every Pikmin has at least 120 per bonus stage. They might have more. I'm not actually sure on that. But uh... Yeah, we're gonna need like all of these Pikmin to carry that, that 20, so we're gonna have the reds, I guess. Uh, carry this Cool spec, but not before we take out the bull bears. And it ate one, of course. But not its friend, comrade. Thinger Majinger. Alright, was that 10? Oh, that was 8. Wait, don't, 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 don't go through the yellows. Oh, God, I hate the. That's one thing I hate about Pikmin AI, is that when you assign them to something, and then they go through another pile of Pikmin, bad things happen. Alright, now stay over there. Dang it. Alright. Three of you there. Three of you there. Well, actually, not, 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 not that. I want two of you to do that. The other one will get later because I want five of you to get the five that's over there. Alright. And that's really like one of the most important things in challenge mode is being efficient with your Pikmin. And since we're going to be going back towards that uh, pellet later, might as well get it later then. Alright, blue, you're gonna have to stay there and chill. Yellows, I'm taking you and we're gonna get you that 20. That way we get lots of more Pikmin. Alright, here you go. No, you, you grab onto that. Thank you. Alright. Alright, sorry about that. Getting interrupted is always 
be a fun time. And I don't want to take that out with just blue Pikmin. So it's so all you guys gonna have to stay there. I'm gonna bound everything up back here at the uh, the base. And it seems that our red buds have already been, or red Pikmin lava in the ground have already been turning into buds. Which means they've been here a while, unfortunately, but whatever. It looks like we have a lot of red Pikmin and a lot of blue Pikmin. Which is uh, a good thing, actually. Because really, the yellow is only useful for bomb locks. I'm so tempted to just call them off right now and then have, like, the Pikmin when they come later just carry it then. But I, I feel bad for it, so there. Alright. But now we have a troop of 100 Pikmin. Well, 99 now, but you get it. We have 100 Pikmin on the field, which means we can get a lot of things back to camp faster and we don't have to worry about picking any spouts. And I really do love having a uh, red Pikmin. Also, now that we have the red Pikmin, uh, it's most definitely better to kind of clear out enemies first. And then, uh, worry about taking them back. Because, uh, it's not that important to, uh, get Pikmin created anymore. Now it's just the final numbers is what is important. Alright, so let me split you guys up. Uh, that didn't really work, but it'll do enough. Uh, just like always, uh, yeah, all you guys get bot box. And, they, what the, thank you. But yeah, just like before, uh, these stone walls only take two bombs, so don't use any more. And I guess we'll just throw some, uh, some other ones, I guess, <laughs> here. It feels like kind of a waste, but it does kill them fast. Alright, take them out. Take them out! I'll do it. Alright. So now, let me, uh, round all these guys up. And head back here, because as I said before, uh, am I missing some? I guess, I don't, no, I don't have a radar on this mode, by the way. But anyway, as I said before, the best prize is hide behind the uh, stone walls. So, uh, it's best to, uh, take them out. Alright. And before we go any farther on in that direction, I think now is a good time to uh, start bringing things back to base. And in this way, it's uh, very easy to, uh, instead of having to break up your Pikmin one by one, getting them uh, treasures, this way you can just kind of get a color, go, get a lot of corpses and then go from there but remember to leave enough Pikmin for uh, all the pellets for that certain color because you know obviously you want that color to be the one getting its pellet that would make sense alright now let's take the rest of our yellows and get the uh Bulbob corp corpses? Corpsei? That's, no, it's just corpses. Hopefully we can get 10 Pikmin to carry this without getting crushed. Please. Thank you. Oh, I guess I just threw him too far and it didn't lock onto it. Okay. 
And the rest of you can carry that. And as for my lovely blues, I do not like the fact that I am kind of running out of time here. That is rather annoying, but what can you do? All y'all need to go up here and carry this 20 back for me. That way I can get lots and lots of I can. And yeah, I don't think I've... I certainly don't recognize this path. I don't know if I've just never gone back here or rarely gone back here, but... There is a prize for coming back here. And here it is, plain as day. A pearly clam clamp, which as you remember, its pearl creates 50 Pikmin. So a very worthwhile venture. And unfortunately to save time, it looks like I'm not going to be able to bring our blue Pikmin with us. Which is such a shame. They kind of get shafted in Pikmin production. Uh, but oh well. I think what I'm actually going to do is uh, throw the Pikmin up here. As time consuming it is, I don't like crossing that little bridge surrounded by water uh, on the other side of this, so we're going to throw the Pikmin up here and then start with the Pearly Clam Clamp and then try to take out the other Bulbulbs if we can, but if not, that's okay. Run, Alma, run! Time is of the essence. And for your reference, if in case you chose another path or was able to do... Oh, hey! I guess I didn't take one Blue Pikmin. But if you chose another path or you didn't want to do a uh, do something else. The uh, red 20 I know is where the extraordinary bolt was. It's now guarded by fire. But uh, yeah, that's where that is. In case you wanted to know. Because as I said, I'm pretty sure every color gets uh, 120 per stage, or at least 120, if not more than one. And I'm surprised it didn't eat one of those. All right. Wait, where are you guys taking this? Don't. Don't just. Don't. Don't you. Okay, good. <laughs> that was a little scary. And make sure. Make sure they get back. Go, get on it. Thank you. Alright. And now we'll try to take out these out, but, uh. No promises that they'll actually get back to base in time. Hopefully they do. Actually, they probably won't, unless they took the smart path and went down where there's clearly enough space for them to go down on the shore. But I'm just hoping that the uh, 50 gets in there in time, because that's the difference between a uh, 242 and a 292. And you have more spaces, I know you do. You have 20. Or maybe you only have 15. Nah, because Pikmin still want to bind to it. Also, I, I, I thought this occurred to me. I have no idea if uh, Sunset plays a factor in number of Pikmin at the end of the day. I hope not. But I know depths play a factor. Oh good, it got there in time. Alright, so it looks like we're gonna end out with 292. Not my best score. I've actually gotten like 370 or something like that. You can get a lot of Pikmin in the Forest of Hope. Especially by going the other way. But, uh. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. So. Oh well. Not my best score. See if you can beat that or you if you can beat my 370. I can't prove it because it's actually on another memory card. And I don't wanna like go through all that just to prove it to you guys, but, like, it's definitely possible. I mean, people have gotten, like, over 500, so getting over 370 shouldn't be that difficult with enough work and practice and finding the best route and good, being good at pick man manipulation and blah bitty blah bitty blah So, yeah, and as you can see, uh, the Reds took a lead 
Like, they were all pretty equal up until about midday when the beds were lead, and then they kind of stayed there with, uh... Especially at a little bit before the end of the day, when, like, all those bulb bulb coxes went to them, and then again at the final end of the day, obviously, due to the, uh... Peril, giving them 50. But, uh, blues and yellows ended up markedly close. Anyway, that does it for, uh... Force of Hope Challenge Mode, and join me next time when we tackle the third stage, the Force Naval, which is a lot like the Impact Site will be, but like bigger and more complex. Obviously it's a different level, but again it has almost completely pellets instead of enemies. So look forward to that next time, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys then.